Good afternoon. Welcome to Artist Spotlight here on Life 97.5 FM, where we chat with a gospel artist anywhere in the world, hear what it is that they're doing with their voices to proclaim Jesus Christ. And I'm so honored today to have with us, joining us for Artist Spotlight on the stage, we have none other than Mr. George Livingston. Good, uh, good day to you, sir. Good evening. How are you? I am How's doing it? Yes, sir. I'm well. I'm well. How are you there? Doing well. Doing well. Trying to withstand the, uh, the heat, but uh, that's uh, that's worldwide. So, uh, you know, we're just doing what we can do to stay that's, cool. That's so <laughs> true. That is so true. And and you're, 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 you're standing the heat in which location? Tell us. I am located in Albany, Georgia. Albany, that's, Georgia. Uh, yes, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, South Georgia, about an hour away from the Florida line. So, you know, it's hot down here. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. All right. All right. Well, good to have you, sir. Good to have you. Well, well, tell, tell us a bit about yourself. Who is George Livingston? What can you tell us about you? All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, I am uh, the lead singer, one of the lead singers of the group, The Soul Revivals. Uh, I have an extensive background in gospel music. I've been singing uh, gospel music for approximately 50 years. I've uh, sung with uh, um, some artists as Willie Neal Johnson and the Gospel Keynotes, in which I'm also a uh, current member of. Uh, I've sung with Paul Beasley. I've sung with um, um, Willie Banks and the Messengers. Curtis Banks and uh, Curtis Watson and the Messengers. Uh, I've also started uh, my professional career with a group out of New Jersey, where I'm originally from, called the Red Hot Motivations. Uh, I'm a minister of the gospel, one of the associate ministers of the Second Mount Zion Baptist Church, where my pastor is Dr. Theodos Drake Jr. And just doing what I can do you know, to be, to make an impact uh, in this gospel world. So uh, that's a little bit about me. I'm the oldest of three children, uh, two, two of uh, my brothers, uh, James and Lewis, we're the only three left out of nine. I'm the oldest. So uh, do, as I said, doing what I can do to uh, upbuild the kingdom of God. That, that's amazing. So you're you're really from a, a, a big family. Yes. Uh, is this a musical family? How did how did this journey begin for you? Uh, actually, it uh, started when I was seven years old. Yes, we are a musical family. Uh, I sung around with uh, you know locally uh, in New Jersey with my brothers. We were called the Adams Brothers, and uh, from there. You know, everything else is is history. <laughs> All right. Did, so you sang. Did you play music as as uh, play instruments as well? Actually, I do. I don't play any with the, with the group, but uh, I am a a guitar player. I also play the bass guitar, uh, keyboards, drums. I play five five different instruments. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. That, that will be interesting hearing a, a, a produced piece of music with you doing all the instruments and singing, wouldn't it? Actually, actually, uh, there was, a, I, I did a CD uh, entitled uh, You Can't Keep a Good Man Down. And uh, in three of those songs, I'm, I'm playing all of the instruments. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. What, what was that like for you? I mean, I'm, I know there are so many artists who would love to do that. Well, it, 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 it was an experience. It definitely was an experience, uh, you know, having to sync everything together, have everything, you know, be in, in uh, coordination and whatnot. But, uh, you know, when you, when you have the Lord on your side and you're doing it for him, he makes the way. There's nothing that he, you know, will uh, withhold from you. And uh, it, 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 took a, uh, it, it took a minute to get done. But, uh, you know, we were able to, uh, you know, finish the project and uh, it's done very well for us. So uh, you know, thank, God for, thank God for that. Yes, that, that, that's that's great. Was that a long time ago or 
Yes, that was back in uh, 2007. Okay. 2007, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so, so tell us then, um, you know, if you can jog your memory back to when you first began uh, this, this journey, being an, an artist and on the gospel music scene, what would have led you to, to start? Well, uh, my father was very instrumental in, 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 in that. Um, uh, he was the, the uh, deacon in the church uh, that we were attending at the time. And, uh, you know, the young people, you know, you know, back in that time, they had the young adult choir, the senior choir, you know, that type of thing. And uh, I was a part of the uh, young adult choir, you know, the junior choir. And uh, he heard something within my voice and uh, decided that uh, my brothers and I could do this. We all sang in the choir and, uh, you know, the harmony between us was, uh, you know, impeccable. So uh, he uh, said, okay, well, let's, let's, let's try this. So uh, he bought us, you know, a guitar, bass guitar. And uh, my baby brother, uh, God bless the dead, who's no longer with us, he, uh, he was the lead singer. A little something about four years old. <laughs> a little something about four years old. And uh, we had a song uh, uh, called I've Been Running for Jesus a, a Mighty Long Time. I'm Not Tired Yet. And uh, when we got to the part where I've been running, running for, like, he'd take off running all around the church. <laughs> that's, well, that's, good. How, that, that's how we got our start. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so, so you mean, ha having gotten your start that way, being encouraged by an elder person, uh, you know, what, how do you feel or what do you say to, to believers who discourage young people from using their gifts in the church because they think they're too young? What would you say to those people? I, I would say uh, you need to put a stop to that because God has gifted each and every one of us. And uh, the, the word tells us that uh, he called the young, you know, because they're strong. He called the old because they know the way. Don't discourage the, you know, don't discourage the youth. You know, I'm thankful and grateful that there are youth who are in the church who, who want to do a work for the Lord. Uh, you know, not by anything being forced upon them, you know, but they have the zeal of God and, um, you know, they want to go forth and, 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 and do something for the Lord. And I don't think anybody has the right to stop anyone as long as they're doing it from the Lord, you know. So, no, don't, don't, don't do that. You know, this music has not always been through the older generation. You know, a lot of this music is swaying toward the young and the young draws the young if you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah. um you know uh we have to be uh, uh mindful you know that uh we weren't old there were a time where we were young that's right and, uh we did according to uh what we felt like we wanted to do so if they're doing a work for the Lord, encourage them, boost them, keep them, support them, you know, go forth, do what you have to do, you know, to be of support of that young one, because it could be the other way. They could be out there in the street, you know, robbing and, 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 you know, knocking people upside the head, you know, right. no, don't do that. Encourage them. Keep going. Keep going. That's right. Amen. Amen to that. Well, let's talk a bit about your music and your, your, even your, your latest releases. Uh, okay. how, how has that process been for you? Do you write all your own songs? Uh, I do write. Yes, we, we're, we're, the Soul Revivals, we're blessed uh, where we have uh, uh, writers and producers within the group. Um, uh, Joe, Joseph Williams 
uh, is especially the, uh, he's the one that puts all of the music together. I mean, we come to him with a concept, you know, of what we want, to, you know, what we want the music to sound like. He's the one that puts it on paper, puts it in into the instruments and uh, make, it, uh, make it what it is. So, uh, you know, we're grateful for that. But to answer your question, yes, we, there's four of us to include his wife, five of us who uh, write and produce and, you know, do all of that. Yes. All right. And, and how would you describe your, your style? Uh, the genre? Inspirational. Um, we're, we're not, I wouldn't consider us the traditional quartet, uh, quartet, so to speak. Uh, although we can do traditional music, we, we want to make music to reach the masses, to reach everybody, you know, white, black, green, yellow. We want to reach everybody. Amen. You know? And, uh, we've been blessed to be able to do so. Uh, we've uh, been uh, blessed and privileged to sing in front of uh, mass masses of audiences, a mixture of audiences. And uh, so we're traditional with a little bit of uh, 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 inspiration, a little bit of praise and worship. And that's with us on a good day, we'll stop singing and we'll stop preaching. <laughs> You know, that's so, good. <laughs> so we're, 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 we're a mixture of, 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 of all of that, you know. That's amazing. Well, even your last releases, uh, what, what message would you want people to glean from what you sing? Well, uh, in the songs that, that, that we have released now, uh, we have, uh, uh, my Lord's getting us ready for that great day. We took the traditional uh, way and kind of modernized it a little bit. And that's been doing very well for us. It, it's more like, like a crossover uh, type, uh, type song. Uh, and, you know, in that song, it, it, it tells us, you know, one day Jesus is coming back and he's, he's getting us ready. And uh, you know, if you don't know him, you really need to get to know him uh, because you know he is coming back. He's Amen. getting us he's getting us ready for that great day. Uh, the second song, uh, "You Will Win." They are those that feel discouraged sometimes. They they they've given up on life, and you know they you know fall into a syndrome of depression. And uh, you know, they feel that there is no hope, that they have nobody. But we try to encourage you, listen, you know, behind every dark cloud, the sun is gonna shine. You know, there's a rainbow at the end of it all. And uh, you know, don't allow the spirit of depression uh, to engulf you or to, to take over because depression is not of God, you know? And uh, you have to understand that um, uh, even though you may, be down today, that don't mean you have to stay down. You can pick yourself up. And, uh, you know, you know I, I like to refer to the scripture that, uh, you know, weeping endures but for a night, joy comes in the morning. And uh, as long as you put forth the effort, as long as you keep putting that step in front of the other, you're gonna come out on top. Amen. So that, what you will win would be about that blood is strictly is a, a, a hard drive telling us that you know the blood of Jesus make everything all right regardless of what you're going through tap into the blood and the blood will make it all right don't stop me you're gonna stop me you're gonna stop me you're gonna stop me <laughs> <laughs> amen oh I'm telling you that's some that's some some solid word right there and, yes. you know, even in these times where people are getting more and more depressed because rising prices can't afford to pay the bills and all those other issues that people are facing right now, mental health issues are on the rise. And so mm. that's a solid word for people to, to hear at this time. 
uh, even the song about Jesus is coming back soon. Do you think that there are enough songs with that message anymore? Uh, there are songs that, that give that message, but uh, I think we really need to, as an artist myself, I think that the industry needs to not just give the fact of, you know, not just give uplifting music to encourage and everything. Yes, that's true. I mean, you have to do that, mm -hmm. but we cannot forget the fact of who we are and whose we are. We cannot forget the fact that the Lord is coming back. He said, I'm coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. And, uh, you know, we're going to, one thing about it, you know, as sure as we're born, we're going to leave here one day. And uh, I'm just of the opinion that, uh, you know, when it's my time, I don't want to go through hell. I don't want to go to hell through hell here on earth and then die and go to hell. Uh, you know, that's just too much hell. And uh, I just don't want to do that. So I think we need to emphasize that, you know, hey, we have a soul to save and Jesus is coming back one day. And uh, if not, if, 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 and if you don't believe that, and this is just my personal opinion, if you don't believe that, what is the point in doing what we do? <laughs> what True. is the point? You know, what yes, is the point? Yes. Amen. You know? Wow, I'm telling you. Well, well, how can people get in touch with you and how can they get your music? Okay. Uh, our music, you can get it on all digital outlets, uh, iTunes, uh, CD Baby, uh, that type of uh, you know, media outlet. Uh, our booking agent is Miss Stephanie McDonald, and please forgive me, I should have her telephone number in front of me, but I don't have the telephone number uh or you can uh you can reach out to me and uh i can put you in touch with uh with with something my my telephone number is uh 229 364 8954 and again i'm the one i'm not the one that does the booking but i can put you in touch with the one that does the booking for for the group I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited in the, in the direction that the Lord is carrying us. I am so excited. I am so excited. Uh, God, is doing, God is doing a new thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the mm -hmm. Lord. Well, thank you very much, George Livingstone, for sharing with us today on Artist Spotlight. I pray that God will continue to use you and all your music, group, musicianship, everything, and that, you know, there's so much more to come. Thank you so much. I do appreciate the time. Give my love and our, our prayers are up for all people everywhere. And uh, one day we're blessed enough. We would love to uh, make it down there to Barbados. <laughs> amen. 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 Yes. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Thank you. God bless all you. Right. Well. Take care. Yes. Bye bye. And that's <laughs> it for Artist Spotlight. Bye bye.